Hey guys, I'm here with Tim Cobb and Wendell after their impressive 2-0 victory over the Chiefs today. How did you guys feel after such a decisive win? It was uh, obviously really great to come away with a 2-0. We don't, <laughs> haven't had many 2-0s this split. Um, so to, to win with that scoreline and get the extra bonus point is, uh, is huge for our season. Um, and, and putting Chiefs to two losses also means that we're a little bit more likely to get that second place. So or first, of yep. course. <laughs> <laughs> and now you guys have been able to bounce back so strong after Rift Rivals. Two, two zeros after that, and this is probably the most decisive victory we've seen. Has that been a lot due to your international exposure? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I think that uh, Rift Rivals, we didn't practice that much with the other teams, but it taught us a lot about ourselves and kind of the, we, uh, we had a big review when we came home about the way we do things and some internal issues that we had had, you know, that we kind of hadn't addressed. And I think since doing that, we've been able to learn a lot quicker. And that's ultimately, I think, why we're, we're putting out better results at the moment. And that's great to hear. A lot of the questions coming into this game, especially, were towards Soul Strikes drafting up against Jish. And quite frankly, a lot of the analysts think that Soul Strikes did a good job reading the patch and also setting you guys up for success. And it seems he did that really well today. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've been scrimming on the patch for two weeks uh, already, which is one extra week than what we would have if we were scrimming on Tournament Realm. Uh, kind of coincidentally unfortunate that Tournament Realm has been down for scrims um, for the host teams. And so we've been forced to play on live. What that has meant is that we got an extra week of playing on the live patch. I think that Lucio got a really good read on it, mm -hmm. on, uh, on what's strong and what isn't. Um, we were a little bit spooked by the Cho'Gath pick in the second game. Wasn't sure that Spooks uh, would be able to play Cho'Gath, but uh, worked out for us in the end. Yeah, you guys were able to deal with it really well, and I agree, Lucio did read the patch really well, so that's yeah. great to see. You guys um, you guys still have to go up against Abyss during Super Week, but after yep. that you face the Die Wars, and they're your, they're, the Die Wars next game is against you guys that don't have to play anymore this week. Yep. Are you guys confident going into it? Because after that, only one team will remain undefeated. Um, we're not really worrying about the Die Wars yet. Um, we need to make sure that we beat Abyss. Uh, like I said, we've had a lot of 2-1s this split, and. Uh, we really want to make sure that we get that extra bonus point. So um, all eyes will be on Abyss for us. Yeah, that's great to hear. Um, finally, do you guys still hate the Chiefs or do you hate the Chiefs? Because you've got on camera <laughs> so many times come and say you hate the Chiefs. Um, <laughs> look, I'll always hate the Chiefs a little bit. I'll always kind of hate them. Um, but at the same time, look, I get along with all the players um, really well. We've been playing with each other for, you know, three or four years now. Uh, I see them pretty regularly. In fact, I was having drinks with uh, Swiffer and Jish just last weekend. So, um, look, I don't. I, I would say that I don't hate the Chiefs personally. I, I get along with them all really well. But uh, the name Chiefs will never, <laughs> will never go well with <laughs> me. <laughs> That's great to hear. Thank you so much for your time. Congratulations Cheers. on your victory, and good luck later on in the week. Appreciate it.